Hi, Jeff Plunkett again, and I'm back to tell you more top three online teaching tips. Three. Number three. Number three, you can mute all of your students in your on live Zoom session, but be sure not to keep them muted the entire time. This can cause a disconnect in the students. What you can do to solve this issue is to open the mics at the end of your period. Tell the students that you're gonna have a five to 10 minute open mic session, or you can go through the Zoom application of raise your hand or lower your hand, or you can also use the Zoom chat option. Two. Tip two, you can also delay the posting of your live Zoom sessions. And what I mean by that is all you have to do is go to your publish key and delay publishing your live Zoom session once you upload it to Canvas. What this allows for is this allows for and ensures for good attendance at your live Zoom session. If you were to post the session immediately after your live session, the students will not attend your class and they'll just watch it on their own. So delay of 12 to 24 hours in posting that session will enable you to allow for quizzes the next day and other uh, online activities that will keep the students engaged the entire time. One. Tip number one, if you do do a tape session, in other words, you're taping a lecture and posting it on Canvas, it's best to post the video for only a 12 hour period. What this allows for is this allows for the students to be on task the day of the lecture. So if you post up your lecture and publish your taped video lecture on the day of the lecture, what this allows a student to do is stay on task for that particular day. At the end of that 12 hour time period, take the post off. And again, just like tip two, this allows you to the flexibility of giving quizzes or online assignments the next day and to ensure that they have watched your video. Be sure and have fun. Embrace this new technology and be certain to make yourself available online to the students. And most of all, have fun. In one of my classes coming up, I'm going to have Silly Shoe Day in which everyone wears a pair of silly shoes. They might wear their funny slippers or whatever, and we're going to go around the virtual classroom and see what everybody has on. Thank you and have a great day, people.